two types of need analysis. The first one, target needs. This focus on language use, so it's about what? The learner, how he or she use the language. Target needs are what? Product oriented, so we'll focus on the product, whatever the learners produce, as speaking, writing, whatever. So, what are the target needs? We'll think about three criteria. The first one, the necessities. What the learners have to know, or what is necessary for him or her to know in order to function effectively in the target situation. Example, what a student might need to know to communicate effectively in a meeting. So it's about what? Necessary to learn. Okay, number two, lacks. You will need to know what the learner already knows so that you can decide which of the necessities the learner lacks. The target proficiency of the learners need to be matched against their existing proficiency. The gap between the two is called the lacks. So number two, lacks, that means what he lacks to learn. So we know what is necessary, but now we want to see what he lacks. Number three, wants. This refers to the desire, motivation, involvement of the learner, plus the learner views and wishes, and also learners perceived wants cannot be ignored. This should be taken into consideration. So that means about what? What the learner wants to learn, his desire, his motivation, his involvement.